J. Warren Perry was a visionary leader and a revered figure in the field of allied health. His work had a major influence on healthcare across the country. Warren Perry's scholarship, I think, focused on the organization of the professions, on defining allied health as an area that was worthy of respect and attention as an important aspect of healthcare. Perry came to UB in 1966 as founding dean of the School of Health-Related Professions, the first school of its kind in New York State, and one of the first in the nation. I was 27 years old and came to UB to interview for a job and uh, had the pleasure of meeting him in a part of the interview process. He was impressive but kind and friendly. So. Uh, despite his uh, stature in the field, he was able to uh, make me pretty comfortable at that point. During his years as dean, Perry expanded the school by gaining federal funding for new programs. But his biggest source of pride was the success of people he trained. His 14 former students at the university who went on to become uh, deans and at least in two cases, presidents of colleges and universities throughout the country. Warren never had children of his own, so he used to fondly refer to these 14 individuals as his kids. In 2001, Maurizio Trevisan joined UB as interim dean with an idea to create a new school of public health and health professions. He says Perry's pioneering spirit laid the groundwork for this new venture. So his support was important as well because allowed the alumni, the people who work with him, the former faculty, the current faculty, to actually embrace the idea much more uh, promptly and generously. J. Warren Perry also made a difference in the Buffalo community. He supported many arts organizations, like the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra, and donated his personal treasures to various local museums. Perry was a founding member of both the Chicago Lyric Opera and young audiences of Western New York. He also gave a remarkable collection of music photographs and memorabilia to UB's music library. Music was, was always something that he loved, that he had a passion for, uh, and that he supported throughout his lifetime, both as a volunteer and through his philanthropy. Perry's most enduring legacy is with the school he founded. His philanthropic gifts fund a Perry Poster Day event where faculty and students showcase their research and his contributions still support his kids through annual scholarships. We have named 44 Perry Scholars, and uh, they're exceptional young people that go on and carry that legacy forward. A highlight on the school's calendar is the J. Warren Perry Lecture Series. For 25 years, it has featured top scholars from public health and health professions who travel to UB from across the world and it was an event Perry tried not to miss. I remember vividly his coming into the room and in a very positive way working the room. He, he, he seemed to be taking energy from the students and from his fellow colleagues, seeing them again. He maintained this connection. I see Warren as a great example of somebody who through his uh, philanthropy, helps advance the school.